September 7th, 2015, we're discussing the Scorbane Oxley Act of 2002 involving uh, the spike company to start this uh, act created by Senator Scorbane Oxley in attention to the company's cover up and loss of uh, their earnings of falsification of earnings and in fact losing um, the uh, earnings of their <clears throat> not just their stockholders but their employees and that being said I'm going to do a presentation a little quick rundown on the situation now all publicly traded companies have to report uh, their earnings from a very small tier level up to the highest tier level of what they're selling and where it's going to so falsification of these earnings can't happen in the future so with that being said let's proceed <laughs> Like to inform you about one of the biggest acts of regulation involving business ethics. That is the Sorbane Oxley Act of 2002. Well, let's start at the beginning. In late 2001, people began to notice some accounting irregularities with the large publicly traded company. The company had a natural national reputation in consistency of good times and bad, so it's considered a blue chip stock. The name of this company was Enron. Within weeks, the stock went from around $90 a share to nearly worthless. This occurred because the management team tried to cover up the losses from the previous years by altering their financial statements. The deception that occurred gave the public a reality check, and in effect, the investors started giving a look at the financial records of other large multinational national corporations. Ethical practice were also found at uh, Arthur Anderson, uh, for example, in the Global Crossings, its logo is Think Ahead. Uh, I'm Clone System Incorporated. <clears throat> Thank you guys. Adelphi, Get Watch and Do What You Want. Worldcom. Thank you guys for cooking the books. The combination of these events created an opportunity to enact a change. And thank you for the Senators Sorbonne Oxley. This change happened July 30th of 2002. Commonly called the Sox Act. Serving Oxlack was introduced to Congress by Serving and Michael Oxley of Ohio. Their intention was to create a law which to restore the face of investors back into corporate America. By imposing stricter standards on financial reporting, there would be an increase in the reliability of the financial statements created by any given company. Let's take a deeper look at what the Swerving Oxley Act includes. Officers of the company are required to sign financial statements for accuracy. This holds them personally account for any misrepresented data. Second, an increase in fine and or prison sentence for separate individuals who attempt to defraud investors or misrepresent actual figures. Third, the company must provide description of its internal controls. This is an attempt to increase the confidence of that organization while allowing them to gain an insight into the company's procedures. Fourth, dependently external auditor, which I did myself with Burlitt's company. Uh, financial reports are now to have a section required for uh, auditors to have their um, audited sections included in the reports. Fifth, all off-balance sheets transaction must be reported. And finally, the Securities and Exchange Commissions has given more power to investigated power that are suspected of doing wrong. Now, SEC is now doing random uh, investigations to make sure that companies are abiding by and adhering to the Scorpion Oxal Act. The SEC is a special division that is is the Public Accompanying Oversight Board, the PCAOB, is uh, working with the SEC to accommodate the SOX Act and in investigating random and or uh, thought to be uh, companies of 
fraudulent uh, earnings. Uh, the IPO initial public offering um, has to be what's stated and reflected into the stock market. Otherwise, fluctuations will occur and uh, just puts things on tippy turvy, topsy turvy situation. Got to have balance. <clears throat> Possible sentence time is up to 20 years if validated and cover up is uh, is applied. So I hope this is a quick rundown on the Sorbonne Oxley Act. I'll go further into it uh, in further video recordings. Thank you and have a good night.